Hi, and welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. In this video, we're going to learn how to clone a Git repository using the command line. Let's dive in. I said that we would be working with a Git repository. That means we need to have Git installed on our computer. So let's go ahead and download Git. I'm going to type in Git download. And then I'm going to click on this first search result. This is the official Git website. Here we can see that it's supported on different platforms. Since I'm using Windows, I'm going to choose Windows. And that's going to start the download process. The download is now complete, so I'm going to run this executable file. Here we're going to click Next. And here we can choose where we want it to be installed. I'm going to leave the default and click Next. In this component section, I'm going to leave the defaults again and click Next. And here it's asking about where to place the shortcuts. I'm just going to click Next. This window is asking about the default editor to be used by Git. You're free to use the default one. I have Notepad++, so I'm going to select Notepad++ here and click Next. This next window has some new information. It used to be that whenever you created a Git repository, it would start with a branch called master. But now Git is starting to use main instead. So it's up to you which one you want to use. I'm going to choose this one and click Next. In this next window, I'm going to leave the recommended option, which is to use Git from the command line and third-party software. Then we click Next. The next window is asking about SSH executable. Again, I'm going to leave the default and click Next. The same thing for this next window on the HTTP transport backend. I'm going to leave the default and click Next. This next window is asking about line ending conversions. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to leave the recommended Windows option and click Next. Don't worry, we're almost done. In this next window, we can leave the default and click Next. And here we're going to leave the default behavior when doing a Git pull. And then we're going to click Next. We're going to leave the default credential manager and click Next. Again on here, we're going to leave the defaults and click Next. And click Next once again. Now the installation process is complete. And here we have the option to launch Git Bash. Git Bash is the application in Windows that allows us to send Git commands. So I'm going to check this box and uncheck this box and click Finish. And this is the Git Bash application. To verify the installation, we can type git dash dash version and hit Enter. And here we can see that we're using this version. Now to clone a Git repo, we're going to head over to github.com forward slash automate now. And here we have different repositories that we can clone. Let's say that we want to clone this one, page object model. I'm going to click this. And then from this drop down, I'm going to copy this information by clicking on this button here. Next, we need to find a location in our system where we want to clone this repo. So I'm going to go to my C drive. And here I have an automation folder. I'm going to open that and right click in the empty space in this window and select git bash here. This is going to open the git bash application. Now I'm going to type git clone space and then I'm going to paste the information I got from the website. Then I hit enter. And notice that a new folder has been created. The project has now been cloned. Now we can go to IntelliJ to open this project. And here we're going to select open and then navigate to where the file is located. And it's this one here, page object model. Once we select that, we click OK. And now we can navigate to the project explorer window and expand these folders here. It's our C folder, and here we're going to find the main and the test folders. Let's check out this long end test. And here we can see that I have an error. Let's see what it says. Can I resolve symbol system? And up here we can see JDK 1.8 is not found on the disk or is corrupted. The easiest way to fix this is to go to the file menu and select project structure. Then we select project from project settings. And we need to make sure that we're using the proper SDK here. So in my case, I no longer have 1.8, I'm using 15. So I'm going to select 15 and click OK. And that fixes that problem. And now we can run some of these tests here. Some people like using the command line when working on Git projects, while other people prefer to use tools such as SourceTree. What do you like to use? Let me know in the comment section.